Hey guys, it's John here again. Right, um, I've got to do a video on a load of CDs that I've just, some of them are actually mine and I acquired them back because uh, I was trying to sell them and I think the guy was taking the mickey and uh, not giving me any money for them. So I pulled, I got a load back that I thought, nah, I can't let him have them. Um, and uh, then there's a couple that I've got um, out of stuff he was selling. I thought, bugger him, I'm taking them. Um, because uh, he's got loads of my stuff at his shop. So, so here we go. Cool CDs. Some, a lot of them I haven't listened to. But... Uh, here we go. To start off with Queen Sheer Heart Attack. Now this is a 1993 reissue and uh, really good album. I think this has got, I'm not sure if this has got extra songs on it. Um, like there's the Hollywood Records editions, American ones. Um, they have got extra tracks on and uh, this is a UK edition this this is the digital master series and uh, you know CDs are so easy to pick up now cheap free um, God I can go and buy a CD like that for 10 pence that's how cheap they're getting um, nobody wants the bloody things thing is though I still like CDs because they they don't take up much room unless you've got as many as I have and then they do take up lots of room um, and uh, yeah I love vinyl obviously yeah vinyls always gonna be like the greatest um, but I love I still like CDs the thing I don't like is cassette tapes I like the physical thing of the cassette tape I just don't like how shit they are when you play them and um, how they break so easily like my Queen Innuendo album that I bought in when it came out in 91 it was it was knackered within what about four days just put it in my cassette player, personal cassette player riding along the road on my bike and the fucking things just jammed up inside the case and then snapped the uh, thing I was just like fuck and then my Europe um, Prisoners in Paradise album on cassette that was the same I think that lasted me two days so um, yeah cassettes I like them because they're nice and tiny and you can keep loads CDs are the same. These are a lot easier to look after. Well, they last longer than a, C a cassette. And, uh, but, yeah, keep keep the old vinyl awesome. Um, so, yeah, that's my thing. I've got that on. I've got Queen collection on vinyl. Loads of Queen stuff. So, check out my one of my other videos. Um, right. Oh, I've got another Queen one. This is actually Hollywood Records. And it is jazz. And uh, this is... Uh, this is a good album as well. Um, this is the 1991... Um, reissue. These are the ones that are... I've got quite a lot, actually. Hollywood Records CDs. Uh, that are... Uh, well, the Queen ones. And uh, they've got extra tracks on them. Whereas in the UK we didn't get that. We don't get we don't get all the good stuff here. Um, in Japan they get all the extra the extra songs um, because they like all that, all that. Um, the US get um, different track different cover art different um, 
album titles to what they norm the proper ones are. Everything's oh sorry, all my mates who live in the US or elsewhere. But us UK people, well, I'm not. I don't live in proper UK. I live in a li on a little island in the, near France, and um, yeah, we get all the. Sh we just get the basic shit, and uh, we have to import loads of stuff. And uh, yeah, we then get all the good shit. So yeah, that's my run over. Have a sip of my strong bow. Right. So there's jazz. Um, another one, which I was well pleased about getting, and uh, I've I do love this band, and I've just done a recent video. Recently, yeah. About them um, splitting up, and it's the band Him. Now, the reason why I got this, I got what I've got quite a few of these already. But this one, in all the time that I've uh, been into them since two thousand and three, and all the many copies of this I've had um, from car boot sales. Charity shops, um, uh, second-hand shops, um, music music shops. I have never come across this one with CD, which has got a bonus CD. And uh, everywhere I go, I find this CD, but not the one with the bonus. And this is actually one of my good mates. Um, he had put this in this record shop to sell it as well. So I gave him the money straight out. I said, look, there you go. And I took the CD. I was like, you know, he's my mate. So he's not getting screwed over. So this has got six live tracks. I can't even pronounce where that festival is. Wurchter? Wurt, oh, okay. So. You might be able to read it. I can't pronounce it. So I love all. Well, yeah, I love all this album. This should have been in my um, my perfect albums uh, lineup. Um, CD two's got right here in my arms. Your sweet six six six, Poison Girl, Death is in Love with Us, Wicked Wicked Game, which is Obviously, Chris Isaac uh, song and him do an awesome version of it, and then join me, and uh, that's the bonus tracks, and uh, I was just so pleased that I got that. that Razor Blade Romance, go out and buy it. It's um, it's absolutely killer. I remember seeing this in our local. Um, record shop in actually no it wasn't this one it was, it was one of their first albums I remember seeing it in like the I think it might have been their first album and I just thought that looks shit right and uh, and then obviously I got into uh, him in 2003 when they brought out Love Metal album and uh, I love that album and when when I looked at their back catalogue and I saw the albums, I thought, oh my God, that's the albums I'd seen years ago that were just looked like a pile of shit. And, and now I've actually gone and bought them. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Really good. Go out, buy it. And uh, Bill's uh, vocals are... Oh. Just got such a deep voice. Watch him in the interview. It's just like, uh, uh, I can't do it now. <clears throat> I need some more soda. Right. Um. I picked up two Aerosmith 
um, CDs as well today and uh, I've already got them but they were like uh, 50p or something like that and uh, just push play not one of their best albums but for 50p you can't go wrong because it's in mint condition and uh, it's always good to have a second copy or in my case three, third copy maybe um, and then the other one I got of theirs is Honking on a Bobo what a crap title um, I actually had when this came out the box set that had the harmonica but it was very tiny very very tiny harmonica uh, identical to that the Aerosmith on it and I never took it out of the box I just kept it there but when I listened to the album I just thought flipping out that is so terrible that um, even I don't want that album in my collection so I flogged it and now it goes for quite good money and uh, I don't know what I sold it for 10 quid probably 10 years ago um, but yeah they go for I think more than 30 now but yeah I don't like this album but I thought I need to have it um, in my collection and I couldn't remember if I had it and now I found out I do I must have picked it up from another charity shop or whatever record store cheap um, so yeah that can go in my Aerosmith you can't or you can never have enough Aerosmith um, right I'm going to do one more CD and uh, it's um, and then I'm going to do a, another CD video which has got some um, acts, well, some bands that I think a lot of you guys out there that um, went to your really sort of um, really heavier than thrash sort of metal bands um, probably like this. Um, but no, next, my last CD is this one, and I didn't have this edition, and it was like 50p. And uh, it's by the band Feeder, and I do like Feeder. Um, I do like um, there's a few bands like this, like Snow Patrol. I like um, Embrace. I like. So yeah, this is a really good. I really do like this CD. It, it came out in 2005, and this one is in a cardboard case. Um, and this one's got the DVD, the 45 minute DVD, which I didn't have, I've only got the CD edition. And uh, this one's, this one actually looks like it's never been opened. Um, can I get that out? This is a very special pack. It goes like this up. It's like, um, it reminds me of a slightly bigger version of a Nintendo DS case. Look at that. Oh, it's pretty cool. It's got a. There's the. Uh, oh. Two discs in there. And. I highly recommend people go out and listen to that if you've never listened to anything. Or check it out on YouTube. I always do that. I always check things out on YouTube. And, uh see if I if I uh, like it first um, there's a lot of songs on there that I like I like I got their other albums as well which are great so um quite depressing but yeah great um, and that's it for that video um, I'm gonna have a quick drink so um, cheers for watching and uh, see you later metal heads and rock heads and whatever red you are See ya.